I'm Omen Qureshi at the University Avenue Courthouse where it was an emotional day as a judge delivered a verdict in a high-profile first-degree murder case with Rohini Bissessar accused of killing Rosemary Jr. inside a shopper's drug mart in 2015. Now at issue is not whether Bissessar is the one that stabbed Jr., but Justice John McMahon says it's whether she knew it was morally and legally wrong to do so. McMahon says Bissessar suffered from untreated schizophrenia for years and thus found her not criminally responsible. But Junor's family feels that justice has not been done. I understand that people can be or become mentally ill, but that shouldn't excuse you or that shouldn't allow you to get away with murder. You killed someone. You murdered someone. There's evidence of it. It's cold-blooded. It shouldn't be allowed. She's sick, yes. Look after her. But leave her inside the air, give her, give her the sentence and leave her, look after her inside of the air. Don't let her out because it will be in danger to the public outside. Bissar's lawyer says this is not a good day for anyone. I think everybody in, in the courtroom, including myself, were crying during the victim impact statements. This is not a win for anybody. There is no win. There's no successful outcome here, no matter what. Ms. Junior has, has died. She cannot be brought back. It is the saddest thing. And no matter what the disposition is, my client still has a mental illness, which requires treatment. And, and that's what the court has ruled today. BC Sar has been ordered to stay at a secure women's wing at the Center for Mental Addiction and Health. Her case will go before the Ontario Review Board in the next 90 days. At the University Avenue Courthouse, I'm Momin Qureshi for City News.